the unmanned system, the autonomous system, and the information that it gathers and then brings back to our sailors, our Marines, our soldiers, our airmen, it doesn't matter. They then use that information to make their war fighting better, more effective, more affordable. With unmanned vehicles rapidly increasing in number, the Office of the Secretary of Defense, OSD, is focused on ensuring interoperability and affordability for the future. The information, regardless of where it comes from, it needs to be tied together and shared across our, our theater, our, our, uh, our fighting domain. This allows us to work more closely across the services. ONR, with a successful track record in bringing information seamlessly to and from the combat side and the control side of the house, resolved to meet OSD's challenge. ONR put a team together that would focus on testing the interfaces with multiple kinds of unmanned vehicles using a Common Control Systems Approach, or CCS. The Common Control System uh, provides us the interoperability to be able to reach out uh, to get data from any vehicle that is out there, bring that data in, and make it available to anybody in the force. In order to test whether data would, in fact, be interchangeable from platform to platform, ONR conducted a limited technology experiment, LTE, in 2012, where participants came together to see how CCS would actually work in a simulated battle space. What we did was simulated uh, several uh, surface ships, six different uh, unmanned uh, aerial vehicles uh, flying, as well as MH-60 helicopters. And in this virtualized environment, we were able to fly all those vehicles, pull all that information, characterize that information, make it available across the force. Gata Technologies developed applications or apps during the limited technology experiment for their bi-directional remote video transceiver, or BDRVT. Now there's an app store. Anybody across government, industry, anybody can use these without having to reuse it, without having to reinvent the wheel. But from a business standpoint, we took a system that had been built over five years that cost tens of millions of dollars for the Army to build. We took that system, we broke it into services, and rewrote it in this UCS in less than 30 days. OSD invested $450,000, out of which, with teaming with ONR on this, we saw an, a return uh, on investment of about $87 million. Someday, in the near future, because of this effort, You'll have a sailor controlling an Air Force unit someday. You'll have an airman sitting at a desk controlling a naval uh, unmanned system. You'll have a, a Marine controlling an Army uh, soldier unit. That is what we will accomplish for today's fight and our future fight with this standardized effort. Give us interoperability, give us common control standards, and give us the information flow that we'll be able to reach to every service across DOD. That's our future.